In 1925 Paris, a young man, age 23, passionate about women, starts his own couture house. His name, Marcel Rochas. One day in the Paris metro, Marcel bumps into a sapphire blue-eyed young Parisienne. He cries out, you've got a good head for hats. She looks back at him, a new love is born. By then, Marcel has made a name for himself in the world of couture. He is adulated by elegant Parisians. But he has eyes only for Hélène. Hélène dances ballet at the opera in Paris. The young ballerina becomes Marcel Rochas's muse. Soon, the couture designer asks her to marry him. For the wedding, Marcel Rochas presents his bride with the most extraordinary of gifts, a perfume. A chypre, fruity fragrance nuanced with rose and jasmine from grass, anchored on an oak moss and patchouli base. The perfume is named Femme. He has created it for her, intense, unforgettable. It symbolizes Marcel Rochas's love for Hélène. The crystal bottle is by Lalique. For Marcel and Hélène, life's little pleasures are a source of inspiration. Fashion collections and perfume follow one another with equal success. Their first fragrance for men is named after their cat, Moustache. When Marcel dies in 1955, he leaves Hélène in charge of Rochas, now exclusively producing perfumes. Hélène is 28 years old. The mother of two becomes the first woman CEO at the helm of a major company in France. Under the influence of this arts and fashion lover, the name Rochas becomes more acclaimed than ever. The lady the Americans call the Sophisticated Panther transformed the Rochas brand into a perfume hallmark. In 1960, she launches the iconic Madame Rochas that instantly meets with international success, followed by Eau de Rochas that rapidly becomes a timeless classic. The love story between Rochas and elegance, conscience and daring woman has never faded. From the golden age of Hollywood studios to the glamorous catwalks where Alessandro Delacqua now reinvents Rochas for contemporary women, the love story lives on. <laughs>